Hello folks, and thanks for taking the time to watch this short video on my experience using Blackmagic Glue. When I was making this video, it got me thinking, why do we actually apply blocks? Well, the obvious answer, to make more money. Or am I the only one that does that? Only joking. That's not completely the main reason. But we put them on because the cow needs them to recover and because we want them to stay on. Two simple but very important reasons. It's amazing if a block does come off on a farm, how it magically appears on the wall beside where you set up. Maybe that's just an Irish thing, or maybe farmers all over the world do this. The glue in that last batch has really left me down. There's not a block left on, so. The journey did get frustrating with blocks coming off but this was her honest, real life story. Well, thankfully, since I started using black magic glue, that has never happened to me. I found it's very important to have the correct temperature. Our trimming trucks work better when we allow the engine to warm up. Athletes just like Tom warm up to have peak physical performance. Well, how can our glue be any different? How can we expect it to work cold? I found that between 15 and 20 degrees was perfect. The glue is thick and doesn't run off the claw or the block. And when it's below that temperature, I found it a little bit hard to pump with my glue gun. It was like a bit of a strongman competition to get the first few blocks out. But the components need to be at the correct temperature to work at their optimal level to get the strongest bond possible. And that's what we need to keep these blocks on. So when I'm putting on a block and starting with a new tube, I insert the glue into the gun hold it upright, just like this, and pump a few pumps just to level the pistons in the two cartridges so that the equal level of component is coming out into the mixing tip at the same time. This also gets rid of any excess air that happens to be in the tube. I know a lot of you do this thousands of times in the year, and I don't want to make it feel like I'm preaching to the already converted. This is just what I do. I heat the claw, with a quick flick of the gas blowtorch to dry it off. I don't bother heating wooden blocks as I already have them stored inside of my hot box. If I'm putting on a long wire block or a plastic one that needs to be burnt off, I will heat the block first, allow it to cool a little bit while I'm changing the mixing tip, just so that when I'm putting on the glue onto the block that there's not too many temperatures going on which can affect the bond. Then it's just a matter of holding the block steady for around 10 to 15 seconds while the glue does its thing. You may think it doesn't go off as quick as the glue that you're using at the moment does, but you do gain some time because the fact that the glue is set and the foot is ready to let down in 90 seconds is pretty impressive. So in closing, I would really recommend you all at least try this glue. Whether you're a farmer, a vet, a hoof trimmer, I've had positive results with it and I would encourage you to try it also. There's no better feeling when a cow comes into the crush with the block half worn, but it's still there and the recovery process is coming along beautifully. Take care folks, and thanks for watching.